Sack is back. That's right. We got a Rakdo Sacrifice deck here today for standard going on. We got both best of three and best of one. Stay tuned because I'm going to break that down for you here today. A mythic deck ran by our friend Shield Maiden, also known as Ash Lizzle. Congratulations on this lovely list and the announcement that Sack is back. All right. So thank you for tuning in. As always, today we'll break down this list. We'll go into the strategy objective of it. We'll also go into sideboarding for best of three. We're going to play competitive magic, both in best of one and best of three here today. And then we'll pull it all back together into a retrospective and outtake so thank you for tuning in appreciate your support as always those timestamps are down below for you and if you happen to have a question or comment throughout today's episode you let me know i love to hear from you on top of that feel free to come sw swing by the community say hi in the discord server all right let's get moving rakdo sacrifice this thing is powered back to success uh, mainly on a couple of awesome new cards here um, from march of the machine and on top of that, it's cheap. And what do I mean by cheap? We got very, very easy casting costs um, with things like Corrupted Conviction here as an example, and also commons and uncommons. This thing doesn't take a ton of investment, uh, which is really nice as you kind of transition into March of the Machine here. Um, additionally, we have uh scorn blade berserker this thing is ridiculous it's got backup one sacrifices creature draw a card um so we have a ton of draw right there between these three which is very very powerful and then obviously we can direct damage destroy something that is going to be a problem um we still have ran in here allowing us to essentially sack and get uh, two life and our opponent gets loses two life in terms of a drain making a four point swing which is huge blood tith in here a new one with invasion of asgol this thing enters the battlefield target player is going to sacrifice a creature or planeswalker they're going to lose one life and then when you get this on the other side you got a two one menacer that gets bigger as a permanent is put in the graveyard that turn on the cult here still for the lovely artifact sack and the ping damage and life gain braids in here um fable and then one last one here with furnace reigns gain control of target creature until on turn untap it until on turn it gains haste whenever this creature deals combat damage to player or battle create a treasure token again steal sack it and you're good to go so very very powerful in terms of what we have here today and exciting it's low to the ground it's going to move quick perfect for best of one and this was a best of three list uh as well making it to mythic all right so strategy objective again constantly dealing damage to your opponents through the sacrifice mechanics keeping on front of your opponent with the card draw removing the threats that are needed um, by making them sack or you sack steel sack kind of a thing um, and keep moving that is exciting all right so now we're going to go into boarding for you and we break that down across three ways aggro mid-range and late game aggro list we should be able to do fairly well here against the control however you may want to have direct kills like go for the throat um, as an example you might want ob Nix in there as well um, to kind of keep cards out of their hand as an example um cut down for some of the smaller stuff and if you need that board wiper vampire's vengeance is a great one in there we saw this yesterday um in the mono red list as well um and if you need to get an extra boost shield red there on the top end also with soar in the mirthless so you can pivot from a little bit smaller card draw to a little bit more of a mid-range against the aggro as an example um and remove things off the board um directly so very very powerful in terms of ideas now as we move to mid-range similar thing you're really going to want to pick apart your opponents take off a lot of those creatures um additionally there uh things to think about too if they start to go more spell oriented you might want to put those duresses in their planeswalkers um also like the deck that we saw yesterday with the battles uh as an example those are some good items for you to kind of think about and pivot um lastly late game late game you're definitely gonna want to have your duresses in there you're not really going to need direct kill damage um so in other opportunities put an obnix uh, as an example maybe soren or shialdred as well again gonna have to focus on potentially getting wiped so you want to just keep that pressure on and keep moving against your opponent so now i'm pulling that all back together we talked about strategy objective of this list here today we gave you some of the sideboarding tips and tricks and how to think through these things um how to shift up some of these pieces as well as you're considering boarding for your best of three all right let's go ahead we're gonna play that competitive magic right now obviously the deck name's too long obviously 
because it's the best deck ever, right? Um, let's go ahead and get into it here for today. We have our first best of one. Let's go Rakdos Sacrifice here, again by our friend Ash Lizzle or Shield Maiden. Let's go. All right, here we go. Storm count it is to start us off. Um, we got one of each. We can keep this. I'm actually going to put that in right away. As well. Play this one here and we'll go in now ideally we get a land we'll see Ooh, we don't have anything there take that off let's do this we'll hold it down we got the mono white control list here. And unfortunately, we don't have anything that we can really use. So we can put this on for four, get this off the board, and get this thing on. that good trigger there we go now again they might have some stuff to wipe the board which could be a problem now we can play our friend here obviously they got something now this over committing could be a problem here for us Needs two blockers on Ashen. Run away. You'll be safer. So we can play this sacrifice a creature, right? can always play that we can also kick there we'll have to think about that there we go again being cautious on a wipe potentially uh, we have no sacrifice there this is what you get for hurting my people Ooh. I need a kill card to steal this thing. We don't have it. Um, mm, we can play this. Opponent's not there yet. We're not going to kick this one out yet. Let your blade do the talking. That was the one that I wanted to keep on the board. Let's see what happens here.
I'm gonna get rid of this guy for now. There we go. Let's do this. When this enters the battlefield, players target player sacrifice creature. Now, I can play this, but I don't have enough mana, so I actually need to swing in here. I would like to take this thing. So here's what we do. We're gonna take this. So now we have this. We go here. And there. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this. Target player, me, yes. We're gonna sacrifice this guy. And look at the top seven cards, plenty number of permanents, or put two plus one plus ones on each permanent we control. Let's do this instead. Let's grab him and that. And we'll go there. Uh, sacrifice an artifact or enchantment. We'll leave this. Let's sacrifice uh, this one. Nope, let's go here. There we go. So now we got Furnace again here. And we can sacrifice enchantments if we need to. Oh, there they go. We'll block here. Give us some more. Here we go. Victive corruption. We got one in our hand though. So again, sacrifice. Creature, draw two. We'll grab that. So it's not enough. that one. There we go. So now the way this works here too is um, we can keep making these and sacrificing on the backup, which is a really, really nice play. Ooh, and we got extra ones here too. Boom. Beautiful. That deck is gas. Look at that. Very, very nice. We saw a lot of things in action against really the mono-white uh, kind of mid-range list there. Mono-white control, it's also called sometimes. Very, very nice. All right, time to play again. This time, we're going over to best of three with it. All right. Ooh. Lots of intricacies to be thinking about in that particular one. Lots of different outs. Uh, great against creature-based decks. I would say it's probably going to be pretty powerful. Uh, again, in standard, uh, best of one as well. A lot going on with that one. Enough life gain. Lots of ways to shut your opponent out and down. All right, shock effect. Here we go. Waiting on our opponent. Ooh, it's a little slow. I'm actually gonna pitch this. I like these. It's tough, it's tough. I'm gonna keep it. It's gonna be a little slow. It will be slow. That first match here, if I lose, it's because I kept it. Yeah.
Is it soldiers or is it control? It is control. This is going to be a hard match. Could be a hard match. Bunch of little tokens. Ooh. Now, you could play some of the wipe on this one. Oops, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to pitch that. I could get countered on Ani Cult here. Lots of one ones. Damage. And that's a sorcery. We need to get an artifact going here. Ooh, monastery monk. Here we go. A little bit more gas, I say. Um, so here's how we do this. If it gets on, very nice. Let's go there. Are they going to hit him, is the question. We mainly want the treasure token here. For the blood tip. They're going to have two... Play this. Ooh, there you go, Balmor. Bunch of twos is what's going to happen here. We can't do anything. Nice. Very, very nice. That should be a good game. Yeah. 
And we'll take that one. Oh. So now what we're going to do, throw on the duresses. Um, we know that they have a couple key things that we need to kill. Uh, each opponent loses two life unless they discard a card. We'll probably grab that one actually too. Um, this was okay. It just did not get to where we needed to. We can play duress, 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 duress. Eat alive. I don't really see any planeswalkers. This is okay. That one's okay. I think this is a little too slow at the top end. Here we go. Um, everything's small, so cut downs work. We can grab two of these. I kind of want to put in Gialdred as well. So if they start doing the draw engine stuff, it's going to hurt them. Uh, we can also go with Obnix. Oh, let's grab one of these and one of those. Okay, a little off, but that's okay. Let's think about this again. Duress, duress. Draw two. Want to keep the gas on. I'm okay with that. Maybe let's drop one more of those. Grab one more of those. All right. So if we can pick stuff apart, we went a little bit more mid rangey here, a little bit more to throw things off. We know the key cards in the list, they just go wide. So really, if we could have went on the direct kill side of things too. No red though, that's a problem. Yeah, we'll get that in. That's gonna get killed. I can feel it. There it is. there. Good news is we do have this. Did hurt us. There 
we go. Now, we just gotta keep that moving. That will be the biggest thing to help us. a lot there. Let's get this thing on. Hopefully. Let's see. We could play this. But I'm gonna wait. We could play that, but I'm gonna wait, like I said. We'll see here. This is the one that we want to do. Cash with casualty. So the one problem we have here by doing that is we didn't have enough mana base and we used one of those earlier, which we'll still get our copy of. After 1,000 years, finally a new conquest. So they're only going to get through that way. Um, we are very close to six. But no life gain. So we should be close. And let's get rid of one. There we go. We'll see. Is it enough? There we go. Woo! Through. Third and final here. Um, We kept Shieldred. Let's get one more in there. We'll stick with what we got. 
We'll keep it. <laughs> Got us through. The wipes worked well. Shock effect. Here we go. See if they counter that. Be a waste of a counter though. I don't know about that. Could have made that one a little bit bigger, I guess. Maybe that's what they're worried about. Now, if we sacrifice it, the game of your end step. Even though they played this, permanents you control gain hexproof until end of turn, prevent all damage from black or red sources. They should have played that when I attacked in. In this case, if I sacrifice something, if they choose not to sacrifice it, then they're okay. So that's one of the tricks. If they don't, I'm still going to get something. So we'll decline. Because I want to get this thing on is really what I want to do. And we need to go find our wipe on the board. That's going to be the other trick. Now we just need to get to our board wipe. We got two of them in here. Did not get there yet. Let's go. Let's drop. We can only play one, so we need one land. I think we kick both these. So that going off is still going to help them. 
not gonna gain, so we wanna have the blockers up. Block there and block there. Let's see this. Grab that one. Try to get through four. There it is. So we absolutely... This is going to hurt us, though. So we might... Well, we might not survive the next one. This is the problem here. But we also give them a shot to play something else with this. And then we can get it off. That might be the better play. Vampires stay on. But if they have a counter, we're in trouble. And if they if they drew something and we waited one, it'd be real sad. Oh, if they have a counter, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I will cry. We're going to try it, though. Oh, we got it. Okay, we're in, we're in the money now. There we go. I'm going to keep that there, though. Because we can, we can channel it and dig and pull something back if we want to. Or we can keep that. this guy they can get rid of those though that was going to be the problem can start draining. Now we can play. Uh, and turn. Sacrifice that one. And there we go. Yeah. 
Yes! <laughs> we did it. We made it through. Oh, Rakdos sacrifice. Making the ultimate sacrifice. Very, very nice. Lots of fun here today. Sacrifice is back. All right, let's pull it all back together. Lots of fun. Great matches here. Standard one. Standard best of three. Ultimately, we came in, won our first match in standard best of one. Best of three, we split. We went two and one. Um, very, very nice. Again, hats off to Shield Maiden, uh, Ash Lizzled here um, for this particular Mythic list. Ran great. We had a ton of fun here. Out of the gate for standard March of the Machine. Very exciting for Magic the Gathering here. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the list. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, the gameplay, all that fun stuff. If you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know. I love to hear from you. Feel free to come say hi in the Discord server as well. Great community there. Lastly, I just want to say thank you. As always, I appreciate your likes, your subs, your support. Thank you to all the members, as always, as we continue to grow this community. Um, let me know what you think of March of the Machine so far as well. All right, Planeswalkers, stay safe. You take care. we got a ton more Magic the Gathering content. Head your way here on the channel. Until next time, we'll see you again soon.